Hey everyone! Today we're going to look at how to use the Postgres Earth Distance module and point data types to work with geolocations. A common requirement in a database using latitude and longitude geolocations is querying for locations within a certain radius or distance from another location. There are multiple approaches for easily managing such queries. You can use the Postgres Earth Distance module with either points or cubes, or you can use the third-party PostGIS extension. In this episode, we're going to focus on using the Earth Distance module with point data types. The Earth Distance module is an officially supported Postgres extension that must be manually enabled. It's also important to note that even when using it with point data types, it is still dependent on the Postgres cube extension. I'm going to quickly install both. For this example, we're going to be working with an addresses table, which has a geolocation column of type point and a few entries. We're going to look at two examples for how to use the Earth Distance module. The first is determining the distance between locations. The second is finding locations within a certain radius of another location. Let's start with calculating the distance between two locations. I'm going to use the backslash e meta command to use vim as my query editor. To calculate the distance between the Hashrocket Jacksonville office and all of the other addresses in our table, we're going to select from addresses and do a lateral join to get the Hashrocket Jacksonville address as a location to compare the other locations to. With that set up, we can complete our select statement to determine the distance between the Hashrocket Jacksonville geolocation and our other geolocations using the at spaceship operator provided to us by the Earth Distance module. This operator expects to be given two points to compare and returns the distance in miles between the two points. We can see from our output that we now have the distance of each address from the Hashrocket Jacksonville office. To only find locations within a certain distance of the Jacksonville office, we can make a quick modification to our existing query. Since we already know how to get the distance between our two points, we can reuse the same logic, passing it now as part of our WHERE clause, and using it in an inequality to check that the distance between the locations is less than a specific value, say 100 miles. With that change, we can see from our output that we are now only including addresses that are less than 100 miles from our Hashrocket Jacksonville address. Wrapping up, there are some things to note with the Earth Distance module and using the module with points. The first is that the distance calculations for points break down at the poles and at the 180th meridian. This can be a problem depending on your use case. If you're trying to find nearby pizza joints for a user, odds are you aren't dealing with the north and south poles or the northeasternmost tip of Russia. However, if you don't want to open yourself up to potential problems, then it's recommended that you use the cube-based earth distance calculations. Second, it's important to remember that the point values for geolocations need to be saved as longitude, latitude. Finally, the Postgres Earth Distance module assumes that the Earth is a perfect sphere, which is not completely accurate. If you need extreme accuracy when working with geolocations, Postgres recommends that you consider the PostGIS extension. Thanks for watching!